So now we are going to talk about one of the most prominent objects in the sky. It is, of course, the moon. Now, as the moon flies around the Earth and as they both fly around the sun, we actually see the moon take on different shapes in our sky. Now, this actually has quite a big impact for us here down on Earth. So let's take a closer look at what's happening here. So the start of the moon cycle, we begin uh, with what we call the new moon, uh, as we can see here, uh, which rises with the sun. Um, however, we can't really see this new moon as it's an almost near perfect alignment of the earth and the moon and the sun. And with the moon being between the sun and, and the earth. And so because the moon doesn't actually have any luminosity of its own, when we actually see the moon, what we're actually seeing is a reflection of the sun's light off the moon's surface and so at this alignment there is no light bouncing off the moon's surface towards us it's all on the other side of the moon mm -hmm. so it makes it really hard to see the new moon at this stage but then shortly after that uh, it sort of moves slightly off that path um, and then we start to see the the sun appear with that slight sliver of the moon as we begin to look uh, through the moon's phases from there yeah, so eventually more and more of the surface of the moon becomes illuminated by the sun, as you were describing. Now, this is what we call the first quarter. Uh, it's also called the half moon. It's a bit confusing, but hopefully it becomes a bit more clear as we go through the different phases. So once it reaches that point of being half full, uh, the moon continues to grow and, and get larger and we start to see more of the surface and this is now where we're getting into this um, waxing gibbous phase. Mm -hmm. So continuing the cycle we are about two weeks in from where we first started from when we first uh, saw or couldn't see that new moon. Now at this stage we have uh, we've reached the second quarter uh, which of course we know as the beautiful full moon when we can see the entire face of the moon being illuminated. Now, being opposite to the new moon, this moon rises at sunset and it sets at sunrise. And a few days after the full moon, the moon can be seen to go through the exact same cycle that we've just gone through, but in reverse. Yeah, so now instead of being in that waxing or, or growing phase, we've now begin to decrease in the amount of the moon that we can see illuminated. And now we're in the waning gibbous phase of the moon cycle. So when we see the moon kind of dip below half full, this is what we call the waning crescent phase. And then about 28 days after we uh, initially started with that new moon, we now arrive back again once more at the new moon cycle and the cycle begins to continue again. Now for people viewing this perhaps from the northern hemisphere, the moon that we've looked at in these lectures may appear slightly different from what you're used to. Uh, in particular, it probably appears upside down from what the moon normally looks like when you view it in the sky. And this is because, well, we're viewing it from the southern hemisphere perspective. Now, the reason for this upside down um, appearance of the moon is because the moon orbits the Earth at approximately the equator. And so when you're looking at the moon from, say, the northern hemisphere, you have to look towards the, well, the global south. Whereas when you're in the southern hemisphere, you have to view the moon looking towards the global north. And so basically, we see the moon upside down because, well, we are upside down compared to those in the global north. And for a completely different perspective um, on this cycle, we can now imagine ourselves actually standing on the surface of the moon and asking ourselves what the Earth would look like um, when we're going through this cycle as well. And if you can still see uh, the rest of the moon while the moon is not full, that is because the moon is still being illuminated by the Earth. Um, the Earth is bigger and brighter and more reflective, and we actually call this Earth shine. Oh, beautiful.